The Merton Mysteries, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. Something She Ate, Episode 6. Hello, my name's Amanda Carlton. And I'm David Evans. And in this series, we aim to improve your English language skills with the help of a series of crime mysteries. PC Gueno has been investigating the case of an estate agent called Anna Jenkins. She became seriously ill while she was having dinner in a restaurant in Merton and is now in hospital. Inspector Tate thinks Anna Jenkins is ill because of something she ate. But PC Gueno believes that someone tried to murder her. At first, she thought it might be her new business partner, a woman called Rita Wardle. Then, Gueno spoke to her friend Hal, who has been doing some research into the case for her. Hal told her that he suspects Anna's Uncle Elliot. Here's what he said in the last programme. Well, if you're looking for a reason why someone would want to murder Anna Jenkins... I think this could be it. So, are you saying that Elliot Jenkins tried to murder his own niece? Well, think about it. It's possible. But why would he want to murder her? Surely Rita Wardle is the one he hates. Yeah. And anyway, they're the same family. I know. But these things happen. Oh, and there is something else I found out. Yes? You see, Anna Jenkins isn't married. She has no children, no brothers or sisters. Her parents are both dead. So if she dies, my guess is that her uncle Elliot would get all her money. Yes, and I'm sure she's got lots of it. Well, it's an interesting idea, Hal, I'll say that. Yes, I'll see what the inspector thinks about this. In the next scene, PC Gueno tells Inspector Tate about this idea. She says, I think her uncle Elliot is involved in some way. She goes on, I think Elliot Jenkins may have tried to poison Anna. But Inspector Tate says, Oh, come on. You expect me to believe he tried to murder his own niece. And he tells her, Gueno, you're wasting your time. And here are two questions for you. What does PC Gueno ask the inspector to do? And does he agree to do it? Here's the scene. Inspector, can I have a word? Oh, yes. It's about the Anna Jenkins case. Oh, Gueno, I told you to forget about it. It's just that I've had an idea. You see, I think her uncle Elliot is involved in some way. Please, Gweno, I've got more important things to think about. But I think a serious crime has been committed. Really? What? I think Elliot Jenkins may have tried to poison Anna. Oh, come on. You expect me to believe that he tried to murder his own niece? I think it's a serious possibility. Gweno, you're wasting your time. I've told you already. But, Inspector, I'm sure it wasn't just something she ate. I'm sure there's more to it than that. No, Gweno. Oh, please, Inspector, please. Come with me to the hospital and let's talk to the doctors. Let's see if we can talk to Anna Jenkins. Oh, please, Inspector, I really think I'm on to something. Oh, all right then, Gweno. I'll come to the hospital with you now. And after that, I want you to start doing some proper work. Thank you, Inspector. So what does PC Gueno ask the Inspector to do? She says, Come with me to the hospital and let's talk to the doctors. Let's see if we can talk to Anna Jenkins. Please, Inspector. And does he agree to do it? Yes. Although he doesn't sound happy about it. He says, Oh, all right then, Gueno. I'll come to the hospital with you now. And after that, I want you to start doing some proper work. You're listening to the Merton Mysteries, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. And don't forget, you can find more resources at our website at learnenglish.britishcouncil.com. Dot org.
The next scene takes place in the office of a doctor at the hospital. Inspector Tate asks him, Is Anna Jenkins well enough to talk to us? The doctor tells him, She's asleep at the moment, but when she wakes up, you can have a few minutes with her. PC Gweno then asks, Do you have any idea what made her so ill? Was it something she ate in the restaurant? And the doctor replies, No. We're now sure there was nothing wrong with the food. And here are two questions. According to the doctor, why did Anna Jenkins fall ill? And what do her medical records show? Ah, Inspector Tate. Come in. Thank you, Doctor. This is PC Gweno. Hello, Doctor. So, is Anna Jenkins well enough to talk to us? Well, she's asleep at the moment. But when she wakes up, you can have a few minutes with her. Thank you, Doctor. But I don't want you to put any pressure on her. Is that clear? Of course. We completely understand. And do you have any idea what made her so ill? Was it something she ate in the restaurant? No. We're now sure there was nothing wrong with the food. Really? Yes. We think she suffered a massive allergic reaction. An allergic reaction? That means her body had a very bad reaction to something. Something which, for most people, would be no problem at all. So, was it an allergic reaction to the food? Oh, no. Uh, we checked her medical records and she doesn't have any food allergies. However, she does have an allergy to certain kinds of medicine. She has an allergic reaction to medicines? Not all medicines. Just one or two kinds. The kind that you or I might take for a headache, for example. Well, according to the doctor, why did she fall ill? He says... We think she suffered a massive allergic reaction. And he explains what that means. That means her body had a very bad reaction to something. Something which, for most people, would be no problem at all. And what do her medical records show? The doctor says... We checked her medical records and she doesn't have any food allergies. However, she does have an allergy to certain kinds of medicine. You're listening to The Merton Mysteries, a Learn English radio programme from the British Council. When the scene continues, PC Gweno asks, Why would she take a medicine that she knew she was allergic to? The doctor says, My guess is that she didn't. My guess is someone else gave it to her. Inspector Tate says, Deliberately? Are you saying that someone else gave it to her deliberately? And the doctor tells him, It's certainly possible, Inspector. And here are three questions. According to the doctor, are these medicines easy to find? Who would know about this allergy? And what are Tate and Gweno going to do next? Here's the rest of the scene. And did she know about this allergy? Well, I'm sure she did. So why would she take a medicine that she knew she was allergic to? My guess is that she didn't. My guess is someone else gave it to her. Deliberately? Are you saying that someone else gave it to her deliberately? It's certainly possible, Inspector. And I suppose the medicines are quite easy to find. Oh, yes. You can find them in any pharmacy. And would it be easy to give her this medicine uh, without her knowing? Very easy. You could just put it in a drink. So, it's just as I thought, Gweno. What? I thought it was something like this. No, you didn't. You didn't think that at all. You thought it was something she ate. Thank you, Gweno. Now, Doctor, who would know about this allergy? Well, obviously her doctor and members of her family, I imagine. Members of her family? That's interesting. And why do you say that, Gweno? Because there is only one other member of her family, and that is her Uncle Elliot. Really? Hmm. Well, perhaps I'd better go and have a word with him. You wait here, Gweno, and speak to Anna Jenkins when she wakes up. If that's OK with you, Doctor? Of course, Inspector. 
So, according to the doctor, are these medicines easy to find? He says, Oh, yes. You can find them in any pharmacy. Inspector Tate asks if it would be easy to give Anna this medicine without her knowing. And the doctor tells him, Very easy. You could just put it in a drink. And who would know about Anna Jenkins' allergy? The doctor says, Well, obviously her doctor. And members of her family, I imagine. PC Gweno is interested in this, and she reminds the inspector, There is only one other member of her family, and that is her Uncle Elliot. And so what are Tate and Gweno going to do next? Inspector Tate says, Well, perhaps I had better go and have a word with him. And then he turns to PC Gweno and says, You wait here, Gweno, and speak to Anna Jenkins when she wakes up. So what will Elliot Jenkins say to Inspector Tate? Did he really try to murder his own niece? And what about Anna Jenkins? What will she say when she wakes up? To find out, join us again for the next episode of our story, Something She Ate. Now here's a chance to hear a part of today's drama again. Inspector, can I have a word? Oh, yes. It's about the Anna Jenkins case. Oh. Gweno, I told you to forget about it. It's just that I've had an idea. You see, I think her Uncle Elliot is involved in some way. Please, Gweno, I've got more important things to think about. But I think a serious crime has been committed. Really? What? I think Elliot Jenkins may have tried to poison Anna. Oh, come on. You expect me to believe that he tried to murder his own niece? I think it's a serious possibility. Gweno, you're wasting your time. I've told you already. But, Inspector, I'm sure it wasn't just something she ate. I'm sure there's more to it than that. No, Gweno. Oh, please, Inspector, please. Come with me to the hospital and let's talk to the doctors. Let's see if we can talk to Anna Jenkins. Please, Inspector, I really think I'm on to something. Oh, all right then, Gweno. I'll come to the hospital with you now. And after that, I want you to start doing some proper work. Thank you, Inspector. Ah, Inspector Tate. Come in. Thank you, Doctor. This is PC Gweno. Hello, Doctor. So, is Anna Jenkins well enough to talk to us? Well, she's asleep at the moment, but when she wakes up, you can have a few minutes with her. Thank you, Doctor. But I don't want you to put any pressure on her. Is that clear? Of course. We completely understand. And do you have any idea what made her so ill? Was it something she ate in the restaurant? No. We're now sure there was nothing wrong with the food. Really? Yes. We think she suffered a massive allergic reaction. An allergic reaction? That means her body had a very bad reaction to something. Something which, for most people, would be no problem at all. So, was it an allergic reaction to the food? Oh, no. We checked her medical records and she doesn't have any food allergies. However, she does have an allergy to certain kinds of medicine. She has an allergic reaction to medicines? Not all medicines, just one or two kinds. The kind that you or I might take for a headache. But that's all for today. You've been listening to The Merton Mysteries, a British Council Learn English radio series. And remember, you can find more resources at the British Council Learn English website at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. Until next time, from Amanda Carlton and me, David Evans. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.